Hello everyone and welcome to the next lesson. In this lesson, we are going to be talking about the manuals we are going to be using in this course. Now you've heard me talk about the different manuals in the, in the history lesson. Now, because this class is quite international, so we are going to be looking at manuals from different countries because everyone who comes from their own country, they want to use their own manual. And again, as I explained in the class, Ashto is kind of the grandfather of all manuals. That's why we got most of, most of the values we're using right now. But again, you always use your country's manual as it has the final say. So one of the manuals we're going to be using is the Ashto, as I mentioned, it's the green book. We are going to be using the IRC, which is from the manual for India for the geometric design. We are going to be using the Australian manual, um, which uh, considers all factors regarding Australian design for their roads. We are going to be looking at the DMRB, which is the manual for the United Kingdom. We are going to be looking at the manual for now, uh, the different African countries. We're going to be looking at Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, Nigeria, South Africa. And all these manuals, in that case, uh, they are all manuals that are designed for the different countries based, and a consultant was hired. He reviewed like parameters in your country and updated this manual. Now, I think looking at the manuals like our parents did is quite old. Right now we have AI and I wanted to highlight to you something that you can do regarding how you can use AI. Now, if you have access to all the different manuals, I want to introduce you to something called Notebook LM. This is an AI subscription service from Google and it's different from Chat GPT and Gemini in the way it works in that this kind of focuses on the data you've given it. It's not like, a language learning model whereby it's using data from the internet. It's going to use data that you've given it. Because I mean, when I'm looking at a manual, I'm interested in only what that manual is saying. So uh, let's look at this. So type in Google Notebook LM. So when you type in Notebook LM, what's going to happen is the first website that will come up will be the Google one, which is Notebook LM. And it's an AI uh, powering system. It's an AI powered system. Now it's powered by Gemini, if you have Gemini for that. Now what you do is you, the menu is quite obvious for this. So you can go here and you create a new notebook. So what I do is I always put my manuals in these AI systems because uh, sometimes you just want to chat with the manual, especially if you look at different countries' manuals. And you can see already I've already put some different countries' manuals. So I will go here and maybe I will say, okay, it's going to ask you, um, can you add a source? So you can choose to upload a manual, the PDFs that you have, whether it's your country or anything. So I'm going to just give a quick example in this case. Uh, so I already uploaded, in this case, the Nigerian manual. Now, when you upload something, it already, it's already reviewed in this case. It already shows you, uh, you put here the PDFs, the different sources, but you can always add more. So for example, I always advise you can add the manual in chapters or you can add it as one bulk. Most cases nowadays, uh, notebook LM, since beta testing for the past two years, uh, it has improved and now you can add the PDF in one go. Uh, Ashto, you may have to add it in chapters because uh, Ashto is quite large. So I add like elements of design together and the other elements separate. So you upload your manual. For example, now I've already uploaded and when you upload the manual, what's going to happen is it's going to analyze, you know what it does, it converts it to a text format and then it's going to try and uh, uh, convert that into a format that the language model can understand. And now, for example, I I can now ask any question. For example, I can say, what is the minimum K value for an arterial road? Now we talked about the types of roads in different countries, but here I'm just looking at the case for Nigeria. And the beauty of this is now it's going to give me everything that I need for this. It's going to tell me, okay, look at table 18, okay? So I already know in the manual, I just quickly have to look at table 18 uh, for this case. And it's going to tell me different attributes for the K values, what I need to consider and all that. And you can now keep chatting with this manual all this time. And what I like about this is you can now always go and you can save this note. You can click here on save this note, okay? And the beauty with this is I can tell the manual, show me table 18. And what's going to do again, it's going to look at 
the PDF that you've given it, it's going to analyze and it's going to lay out the table. So it's showing me a table in that manual which shows that uh, for the sun curves, 50 kilometers per hour, uh, for the crest, minimum value is seven, sag value is 13. Now you may find in your country, this is very different. Some countries have 10 as the minimum uh, for the SAG, some have 12, some have 13, some have all this. And this is the beauty of why I want you to get the different countries' manuals and you check all these values out. Because you know Ashto is the grandfather, but then you start asking yourself, if Ashto says the minimum is X, and I will leave that for you to try out. I would love for you to try out what you're going to find with the um, Ashto manual. What is this? So again, that's that. Now, and the beauty of this is that I can just now go in the manual itself. For example, in this case, just give me a minute. Let me just open up where that manual is. Okay, this is the Nigerian Geometric Design Manual 2013. It could have been updated again. Um, forgive me for that if this is not the latest, but again, I'm just trying to explain the concept. And I can just quickly search for table 18, okay? Is it table eight? Table 18, table eight. So we have here table eight. I just click on that and it takes me there. Um, I think it was table eight. Let me just go back here and just confirm what notebook NLM had told me. So you can see the notes that I've already put up, put table 18. So we're going to go to table 18. So just type in table 18 and that comes up and it shows me the minimum values for the SAG and this. And you can do this for different manuals. So you put all the different manuals and you just keep them chatting with them. And the most powerful thing about this is you can put more than one manual in case you now want to ask uh, the PDF, what's the K value for the Australian? So for example, if you go now to Australian manual and I say the same thing. And again, I can ask, uh, what's the minimum K value for SAG? Have in Ontario. Now I know the classifications for the different roads for the different countries. That's why I know. So in Uganda, you'd not ask Ontario. In Uganda, man, you'd ask either district road, something along the lines, which we talked about in the types of different roads. And again, it's looking at the uh, Australian manual and it's trying to uh, give me something. And now again, I can look at the Australian manual and I know, okay, I have to deal with this. So it's going to tell me. Uh, the sources do not do this, however, they offer guidance on that. And again, I'm not going to go so much into detail as I'm just trying to explain to you how you can use AI. Now, of course, you can use Gemini and Chat GPT uh, uh, to do something similar, but this is kind of a notebook. So I have different, all the different countries' manuals, and I just type them in here and I'm able to see, okay, oh, now this country went with a higher value. Why did they go with a higher value? This country went with a lower value. Why did they go with a lower value? So, and I find that's something that's very, very important um, regarding this. So, what I want you to do is get the different countries' manuals, go to Notebook LM, which is from Google. If you fail to access it, turn on a VPN, that will make it free, and now you'll be able to access it. After that, what you're going to do, you are going to put in all the different countries' manuals that we've highlighted that we're going to use for the course. And now all you have to do is just keep checking the different parameters based on that. Otherwise, I hope to see you in the next lesson.